click on the smooth it you can see this curve connected smoothly between those points so this is my user curve as a smoothed shape the other capabilities of user curve is applying a tolerance if you wanted to make this line like a fat shape curve you can apply as a tolerance max like for example 10 percent as you can see it it just shifted to the right hand side by the factor of 10 percent or I can shift it to the left hand side something like 15 percent as soon as I click OK it shifted to the left hand side like that so you can introduce the tolerance for the curve if you want to the other capabilities of user curve is you, after you enter the curve you still have capable of modifying this user curve just simply double click on the curve it automatically opens the user curve editor and you can still access to the same point for example I want to change this points from 900 to 700 as soon as I click OK see that the curve from this point will shift it to 700 and if I click OK I gonna uh, modify my user curve if you wanted to add more information associated with the user curve the best place to keep that information is in the remark section double click on the user curve the remark section have a field for description link and reference you can type it in extra information associated with the user curve in the remark section you're also capable of adding the base KV to the user curve just simply double click on the user curve and specify the base KV to the setting section the base KV by default is zero but you can enter whatever you wanted to show if you put the same base KV as the plot KV the curve won't shift it but if the base KV is different than your plot KV you will be see the curve is going to shift also you can introduce the fault clipping current default value is show zero if you introduce the default uh, KA current in the kiloamp for example if I introduce it as a 0.5 KA in this case and if I click OK now I'm gonna have a user curve fault arrow and I can show it or if I don't want to show the fault arrow I simply can select this as a false and click OK so it doesn't show the fault arrow you can also change the appearance of the user curve just simply right click on the user curve and select plot options that will take you to the plot option appearance page automatically and if you choose the use custom color you can change the thickness of the line and you can change the color as you wish and the style it's very flexible and very user friendly finally if you wanted to have this user curve part of your etab library just simply double click on the user curve editor and just click on add to lib now you need to specify the category for example call it category 1 and the curve name sample curve and you can put the reference link and as soon as you click OK you will see it shows at the header of user curve properties now if you click OK this user curve is part of your ETAB library that means if I open another star presentation I can introduce the user curve from library just simply click on this button and call it from library same category sample curve click OK click OK there it is and don't forget that once you add the user curve to ETAP library you have to go to the library and click on save so the user curve that you added now it's saved in ETAP library if you need to send this project file to somebody else you have to make sure you need to send the LIB file as well if you open another project file 
you can still use this user curve if you have access to this library file as well. Sometimes you wanted to show the fault arrow by itself and user curve is another good application for showing a fault arrow. So in that case you don't need to specify any points all you have to say is just the fault KA for example I want to put 5 and I want to just call it as a fault KA as a user curve as soon as you click OK this fault arrow shows without connecting to any element.